Hello, my darlings. The name of this book is Sylvia Jean, Scout Supreme by Lisa Campbell Ernst. So there she is. She's a little Girl Scout. Sylvia Jean was a pig scout extraordinaire. By day, she memorized every rule, regulation, secret sign, and handshake. By night, she dreamed super scout dreams, still wearing her most prized possession, a golden pig scout snout ping. Sylvia Jean's favorite day was Friday, when pig scout troop met at four o'clock sharp. Sylvia Jean reporting for duty, she announced. Attention, scouts, called their leader, Miss Rose. Today we begin work on the most important badge of all, the Good Deed Badge. We will begin by having each of you choose a good deed. The troop gasp. Sylvia Jean, loudest of all. I'll plant flower, flowers, said Greta. Too dirty, thought Sylvia Jean. I'll pick up trash, yelled June. Too smelly, thought Sylvia Jean. Stella would read to toddlers. Too wriggly. Grace would paint a neighbor's fence. Too meh. Hey, that neighbor idea is pretty good. Sylvia Jean jumped to her feet, shouting, I've got it, my neighbor, Mrs. Van Hooven. She twisted her ankle and can't walk. I'll take care of her. Prepare to be amazed, sang Sylvia Jean. Sylvia Jean gathered items for every possible need from band-aids to balloons, tissues to tulips, pillows to puppets. I can't wait to see the look on Mrs. Van Hooven's face, Sylvia Jean crowed when she left her house the next morning. She is so lucky. Instead of using the doorbell, Sylvia Jean blew her tuba, just in case Mrs. Van Hooven was hard of hearing. Silence. Then a timid, who is it? It's me, Sylvia Jean, the answer to your prayers. Silence. Then come in. Sylvia Jean burst through the door. Hello, she gushed. I've come to nurse you back into health. Mrs. Van Hooven, eyes grew big as Sylvia Jean told her about the good deed badge. Th th thank you, dear, she stammered, but please, all I need is rest. <sighs> no, no, I insist, Sylvia Jean said, speeding towards her patient. Let me fluff those pillows. Suddenly, the tuba and supplies tipped. Before Sylvia Jean could balance them, her feet shot out from under her and she slipped straight towards Mrs. Van Hooven. Oh no! <clears throat> they both screamed, then crash! Please, dear, whimpered Mrs. Van Hooven, go. Walking home, Sylvia sniffed. At least I took her mind off her ankle. Tomorrow's got to be better. But by the time she reached her house, her mother had already received a call. I'm afraid the doctor has ordered you to stay away from Mrs. Van Hooven. He says she's much too fragile for your kind of help. What? Sylvia Dream cried. That's impossible. She needs me. She stamped to her room. Sylvia Jean paced back and forth, mumbling to herself. Sure, maybe I overdid it a smidge, but this is for a badge. Remember the badge, Sylvia Jean panicked. Remembering the badge, Sylvia Jean panicked. What would she do now? Calm down, Sylvia Jean told herself. 
She touched her pig scout snout pin and read it. A pig scout never gives up. <gasps> okay then, think she said. I can't visit her, but anyone else can, even a total stranger. Hmm. Sylvia Jean began to laugh as she headed for her dress-up closet. closet. If total strangers can visit her, then strangers it will be, she announced. Hmm. The next morning, a feeble-looking pig left Sylvia Jean's house with a golden snout pin in her pocket. She hobbled up the street to Mrs. Van Hooven's door and knocked. Silence. Then, who is it? I'm your new neighbor, Mrs. Pink, said a creaky voice. Come in, called a weary Mrs. Van Hooven. Violet, said Mrs. Van Hooven, my favorite. Are you sure we haven't met? You look familiar somehow. Yes, yes, quite sure, Miss Pink said, looking, turning around. I must be going. And she ran out the door. Mrs. Van Hooven watched her new neighbor walk up the street. That's odd, she said, seeing Mrs. Pink turn a perfect cartwheel. <sighs> the next day, a very dashing-looking gentleman left Sylvia Jean's house, walked straight to Miss Van Hooven door, and knocked crispy, crisply. Who is it, Mrs. Van Hooven? called Mrs. Van Hooven. Your new neighbor from Spain, Senor Villa. I have brought you a dish of my famous Spanish rice and beans. Do come in, said Mrs. Van Hooven. Oh, it smells heavenly. Signor Villa put the dish on the table. I will leave you now to rest, he said with a deep bow. Enjoy. What a lovely gentleman, Mrs. Van Hooven said. She continued to watch as he skipped all the way to Sylvia Jean's house. Very odd, she said, helping herself to the delicious food. In the following days, Mrs. Van Hooven watched as mysterious strangers left Sylvia Jean's house only to arrive at her front door, introducing themselves as new neighbors. A cowboy. Howdy, ma'am. Brought the newest book on the bestseller list, High Noon at Ping Snout Coral. Miss Monique, a, ball Mon Monique, a ballerina from France, brought chocolate truffles. The sweets were the sweets, she sang. An artist, Mr. Cool, brought a painting. Hmm. My, this neighborhood gets more interesting every day, Mrs. Van Hooven said, as the last visitor, a Viking princess, quickly left. <laughs> With each passing day, Mrs. Van Hooven's ankle grew a little stronger, and she grew a little more puzzled until the day she saw something shiny on the floor. Examining it, the old pig chuckled. By Thursday, Sylvia Jean was about to burst. I did it, she sang. I did my good deed, and Mrs. Van Hooven never knew it was me. She sashayed around the room. I deserve two bandages, badges for this. Sylvia Jean pulled out the badge form. Now to fill this in, she announced, her fanciest pen poised to write. Explain your project, the form read. And then it hit her. Oh, I can't, she said. I can't tell anyone. The doctor told me to stay away and I disobeyed. If I confess that they'll confess that, they'll never give me the badge. They might even kick me out of the troop. A small cry escaped from her lips. Sylvia Jean could share nothing at the meeting tomorrow and would watch disgraced as all the other scouts received their badges. She fell into deep despair that followed her like a black cloud to the next day pig scout meeting. <sighs> That afternoon, the scouts were a twitter. Everyone was anxious to swear to share their glorious deeds. Each took a turn around until only Sylvia Jean remained. 
Sylvia Jean, Mrs. Rhodes said, you may go next. She stood staring at the floor silently. Her eyes burned with tears. I, I can't, I, I didn't want to brag, came a voice. Everyone turned around to see Mrs. Van Hooven hobbling forward on crutches. Sylvia Jean is far too kind to brag, Mrs. Van Hooven continued, but she arranged to have the most fascinating characters visit me while I was laid up. She's an angel, an absolute angel. The troop clapped as the older pig hugged her young neighbor. Sylvia Jean turned three shades of pink and then whispered, how did you know? Mrs. Van Hooven handed her something shiny. Sylvia Jean's golden pig scout pin. Big, sorry, Sylvia Jean's golden pig scout snout pin. The next day, Mrs. Van Hooven invited Sylvia Jean over and sewed a badge, sewed on her beloved new badge. What will you work on next? Mrs. Van Hooven asked. The first aid badge answered Sylvia Jean. She touched her pig snout, pig scout snout pin thoughtfully. If only I had someone to practice on. She turned to Mrs. Van Hooven and smiled. And that's the end of the book.